e pesola sabor chesna hasam visual oje de mos rajira sacrificial by enigma so this is going to be a griffith song and as everyone knows i love griffith i don't understand why anyone could hate griffith what kind of heinous acts could this man have done to garner such hatred but i'm actually very excited because i've heard a lot of songs about guts however i've never heard a song about griffith so i'm very interested to see what enigma can talk about so let's get into it Do Falcão, mercenários lutando, um só sonho. Eu comando assim. Um garoto que luta com a própria vida, eu te proponho. Por que não se junta a mim? Se você quer lutar, faremos um trato agora. Se eu te derrotar, a bandeira se torna já que perdo a luta. perspective about Griffith I will say though I think the only great thing about Griffith was he did give Guts a reason to fight Guts was someone who would fight with no reason in fact it seemed like Guts only fought to maybe experience death maybe to die at some point however Griffith had a much bigger plan for Griffith. And now keep in mind, I have not watched Berserk. I say this all the time. This is mainly based off of what I've seen and researched. And I hate each time I research this series. But from what I'm hearing about Griffith, he did give Guts a reason to fight. And he did give Guts... He had a very interesting reason to being a commoner to rise to a uh, royalty to have his own kingdom. That's very interesting. That's very cool. I like that. I'm very curious to see what made him such a hateable person. <laughs> like from what I've seen, why did he become such I can't even use the words right now. I am just filled with hatred whenever I see this guy. <laughs> but I really like it. It's such an it's it's a new way to look at Griffith. Without uh, my own personal biases um in play. Ooh. 
Okay, so now we're seeing a much different side of Griffith. I know that Enigma talked a little bit about it uh, in the beginning, talking about how if one person was to die before the other, or sorry, if one person was to live longer than the other, he would not consider that person a friend. So Griffith is really sacrificing a lot of people for his own dreams okay so now i'm starting to fit the pieces together i understand that and he gave casca a reason to fight too interesting i think i've heard that casca was a mercenary but i think i forgot about that i always thought that uh casca was just another woman that got met i did not know that she was a mercenary I am really trying hard not to let my own personal biases take over. I am really trying, everyone. <laughs> Seeing this man brings out such a hatred in me. <sighs> All right, let's focus on the song. I really like his chorus, honestly. The chorus reminds me of classic rock. Um, I know Enigma is... Whenever I think of a name style, I think of rock music. However, this style reminds me so much of Linkin Park. It reminds me of a genre called like new metal. And it hits such a nostalgic uh, part of my brain for that reason. It's it reminds me of all the songs I used to I used to listen to as a kid, and there's a certain like joy with that, and I love it. And I love how a name also talks more about Griffith's own psychology, talking about how his first defeat was because of Guts. Guts was able to defeat him in one attack and was trying to leave him. Didn't want to become a mercenary anymore. Didn't want to fight anymore. So I love Enigma talking about Griffith's psychology for that reason. Okay, 
Mesmo tem dois cortados, pele arrancada, rosto desfigurado, minha pele queimada, perdendo minha língua, não consigo nem falar. Um falcão sem asas não poderá mais voar, mesmo que eu seja salvo. Nada nunca mais vai voltar a ser como era antigamente. Todos os meus sonhos acabaram. O berrele te volta pra minha mão, era o destino finalmente. O sol pela lua foi ofuscado. Não chegue perto, se você tocar em mim, eu nunca vou te perdoar. Enigma? What was that? The emotion behind that was absolutely phenomenal. I haven't heard Enigma speak like that in a song before. You can actually hear the pain. You can actually hear the confusion. That was phenomenal. Holy. Ele te volta pra minha mão era o destino finalmente. O sol pela lua foi ofuscado. Não chegue perto. Se você tocar em mim, eu nunca vou te perdoar. Okay, yeah, I was waiting for that part. That's the part I actually despise. <laughs> I'm not going to replay that part, but Enigma, that was fantastic. <laughs> I love just how <laughs> Enigma was truly doing something different with that last part. I love how that screeching in his voice, usually when Enigma screams like that, it's refined or it's at least guttural this one it was like peaking his voice was actually breaking and i love that portraying that pain portraying that uh anger just wanting guts to suffer and i absolutely love how enigma's voice was just so perfect for that aspect not going to replay that scene because i actually hate that scene but thank you enigma for it at least he at least talked about it it was a very brief amount of time and i was that's fine it's part of the story and that's what made griffith such an infamous character so it's part of the story and i'm really happy that enigma talked about that particular scene he didn't go into too much detail about it <laughs> that's the important thing but enigma fantastic song and it gave a very interesting perspective about Griffith, a perspective that I wasn't aware of. So, fantastic song by Enigma. And I still hate Griffith. Griffith is still a hateable human being. Despise him with all my heart. But thank you all so much for watching. Let me know how you all felt about this song in the comment section down below. And also in the comment section down below, Please tell me who else I should be reacting to. And until then, open cloud force is steered. Simply ordinary. Audi.